<laughs> I've got an uplifting story to share with you. This is about this incredible girl. She's 14, Katie McCabe. She is the youngest person to sail around Britain. She broke the record that had been set by a 15-year-old. Uh, she landed back in Devon on Saturday after a 1,600 nautical mile anti-clockwise voyage. Um, it is, I mean, her grandparents are quoted in this article, which is brilliant, saying that she never quite sailed as far as this before, no. And she's been existing on pot noodles and a little bit, she's kind of, you know, had not much to entertain herself, basically, but Ooh. she's... Uh, an incredible achievement from her. And uh, when she was asked what she's looking forward to next, guess what she said, you, you won't guess. Another pot noodle? No, sailing. Oh, right. <laughs> she wants to do some more sailing. Chicken, it's got to be chicken and mushroom pot noodle. Oh. All the rest is rubbish. Um, <laughs> one other thing. Right, here's a question for you, Sal. Go on. The, the most famous maker of violins. Stradivarius. The... OK. What would you call a collection of Stradivarius violins? What's the collective noun for Stradivarius's? Stradivarii? Correct. Um, oh, it's like Mastermind. Because the reason why I'm boring you with this is that uh, 12 Stradivarii have been... Is it really? Yeah, yes, apparently, yeah. Oh, OK. Uh, ..have been gathered together um, for this album, recorded on all of them, and the, it's meant to be the most expensive album ever put together because, combined, they have a value of £146 million. Pounds. Wow. So these various uh, violins have been flown into London from all parts of the world, all first class. What? Yes, as you can imagine. Here they all are. So these violins here are worth £146 million and they've all been played by uh, a Dutch violinist called... So wait for it. Um, where is her name? Something. A well-known Dutch Miss, violinist. Miss Jansen. Yes. And it says... Oh, come on, where's her first name? Okay. I'm now furiously searching the words. OK. I'll here, get there in a minute. Here's another question. Yes, what, so you talk. Why oh, do they... Actually, I'm just going to say some words. Yes. Why do they sound different? How can you tell that it's a Stradivarius? That's what I want to know. Janine Jansen. Apparently you can. A trained ear can tell. Wow. And they were all made by uh, the same family. Um, Antonio Stradivari, between 1680 and 1734. Apparently he made about 960 of them, and there are more than 1,100 instruments, 1, instruments in total. Only about 650 still survive today, and these are 12 of the most expensive wow. in the world. And you can get the album, it's out in September. Do you ever play the violin? No, but my son does. I did grade one. <sighs> Ooh. Ooh. Badly played violin. <laughs> oh, it's oh, tricky. Yeah, yes. it's I can remember it. it we used to live next door to a violin teacher. Did you? Yeah, we moved quite quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Should we talk a little bit about music? Yes. I wonder how many violins there are <laughs> for <laughs> festival season this year. Of course, it should be festival season at the moment, shouldn't it? Over half of all the major festivals in the UK have been cancelled this year, many because they couldn't afford the insurance to cover the cost of last-minute cancellations because of coronavirus restrictions. A new government scheme has been announced that's designed to help, but will it?